Kill. No. Kill. Who cares? I need to live. That conversation led to a headshot. 10.58 p.m. Back to it, I suppose. Who am I? Oh, okay. I am the, uh... Oh, I forget her name. With the little girl. I'm her. Right, this is the bus that she fled on. I think it's Kara. Oh, Alice. Right. No, Alice is a little girl. And the line. Right, right, right. And Kara. Yeah, right. You're gonna have to leave. Okay, wake up. Wake up. We have to go. Let's get up here. Leave the bus. Stay here. Shelter. Stay here. Listen, we have nowhere to go. We have no shelter. She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. Now what? Do I insist? Can I insist? Or okay? Nope. We just feel more sadness, I guess. More pain. <laughs> Okay, where the hell do we go? You gonna be okay? Well, don't leave her. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Oh, okay. Find shelter for the Come night. We've got to hurry. Oh, hold up. <laughs> are these are these real androids? Hello? We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? What about the other one? <laughs> like the other one's gonna help. Uh, you want coffee, little girl? Let's go get organic coffee. So I could go in there. Oh, man, there are a lot of places. Okay, hold up, hold up. I need to make a decision here on where I want to go. Okay, I could go to the drugstore. There's another bus. Wait, where'd she go? Where's she going? Hey! Oh, right, the map. You're smarter than me, Alice. Oh. Oh, I need to find a place to stay. Alice is like, fuck that. I'm not walking in the rain with you. Okay, let's see. Okay, I guess I need to go here. Check the map out, maybe? Or talk? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. I wasn't sure why Alice left to me. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit. 
Okay, Alice, can you walk around with me, please? Okay. So, I can go to a, t a gas station. What is this? Okay, I'm not going... I'm not going back there. Definitely not. Um, I can go to a motel. Or... <laughs> Alice was like, peace. Yeah, she just walked across. She didn't care. Or I can go to a laundromat. Well... Okay, it's not done. I can... Go to a place where trespasses will be prosecuted. Or I can look on the billboard. But I think we're gonna go to the motel because that's the most obvious decision. Unless, unless, hang on, Alice, don't walk away from me. Give, be patient with me. Be patient a with me. Looks like we found a place to stay. Yep, go ahead in. Forty dollars a night. Damn, no androids allowed. Oh shit. We're not going in? We can't. We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Sleep in motel. So who's so who owns a robot? Um, a guy named Todd, who since you weren't in my stream last night, I ended up uh injuring him because he tried to beat me and he tried to beat the little girl. Um, he was an abusive father. So I, I stood up and made the decision. And, uh, yeah. So get $40. Find clothes. We'll go to the laundromat. You'll find clothes here. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Plus, we need to just have shelter. Okay, let's see. Change of clothes. See? Maybe in here? Dry clothes for Alice. Open. What are you doing? Oh, he's sleeping. Steal. Take. And I just saved the girl's life. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I don't want to take it. Wait, what? I, I... Do I have to? <sighs> oh, that's fine, Lord. That's fine. I guess I have to. No, I hesitated. Okay. That was good. Be discreet. Oh no, I failed. Alright, let's try here. Oh wait. Let's go to the drugstore. Ah crap. I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Like I didn't I didn't want to I didn't want to grab I got scared. I got scared. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Okay, we have this gas station. So we might be able to steal from here. 
Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At Find some help. Cold. Convince cashier to help. Talk. What do you How to want? successfully steal the clothes. Oh, well, that's... That makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Oh, shit. We're gonna find a plan. We're gonna find a plan. I I am not just straight up steal. I'm not gonna do that. I unlocked another decision. Okay, what's this? There's a camera. Okay, but you can't see the cans behind the camera. Okay. Food for Alice. <sighs> Steal it. These are tough decisions, guys. <laughs> the choice is yours. Another camera here. Oh, sh shoot. The camera just saw me. <laughs> I am. I really am. Okay, this camera is point blank right in my fucking face. Um... Use Alice for a diversion. Well, hell yeah. Use Alice. Wait. Try something else. I feel like I could do something else. There's another camera here. Can I talk to him again? We're going we're going in the back, yeah. I'm not taking the easy route. Wait, what? Toy for Alice? are you doing put that back right now god damn put back put back okay i i don't <laughs> i don't i don't do that look i'm sorry yeah 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 right just get the hell out of my store gosh i can't do this Come on, Alice. i don't mess with that i don't mess with that someone catches me stealing i'm out i'm out it's okay Alice. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I'm totally Something failing this, this, guys. Jeez, I'm totally failing this. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go over here. So you stole a toy for the child. Sleep in an abandoned car? I guess so. Sure game. I wanted to steal from the store.
Okay, what is this? Okay. We're gonna get found the next day, like, that's the only thing. Look. An abandoned house. Oh shit. At least we'd be out of the rain. Go to the Carl, abandoned house. I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Squat in house. Sleep in car. Not if someone catches me. I'm putting it back. I'm putting that bread back if someone comes. Okay. Leave here. I want to go to that abandoned house. Possibly. Find wire cutter. Alice, you need to be grateful. She is. Okay, hold my hand, damn it. Don't ever let it go, damn it. Oh, I, prosecute me. I'm a freaking android. I don't care. Okay, we're squatting in. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter. Oh. Okay, we're gonna find that wire cutter. We're gonna find that wire cutter. It, you know what? Probably in the drugstore. Just throwing that out there. I'm failing everything else. May as well do this. Hold my hand, damn it. Damn it, Alice. Damn it, Alice. <sighs> All right. Can I go in? No? Okay. Where all can I go? Um, my assumption is that I missed something in here. So I'm going to go back in here just to check. Alice, come on. Move. I'm not getting inside that car. I'm going to the house. I'm finding those wire cutters if it's the last thing I do. Unless, are they in here? It looks abandoned. Let's try it. Stand back, Alice. Let's try it. Sometimes things don't work out as planned. Oh yeah, break the window. It's gonna be nice and cool in there. No AC needed. I'm just assuming there's a wire cutter in here? It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. No. I don't wanna sleep in there. Neither do can I. Can find a better place? Fuck yes we can. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. Nope. That's a no. That's a hard pass. 
Hard pass. Is this game gonna like time me out because I'm too indecisive here? <laughs> For some reason, there's not a lot of like things showing up. No, not the dumpster. Okay, I'm going this way. Okay, no I'm not. I need wire cutters to get through there. <laughs> You're not, Sand Scour. Don't lie. You're not on the edge of your seat. This is the most boring gameplay I've ever witnessed. <laughs> and I'm playing it. <laughs> oh! Somebody saw me! Oh, I need to be discreet. Ah. Uh, what the hell? Thank you for not saying anything. I do appreciate that. Have patience with me, please. First blind playthrough literally a blind playthrough I have no idea what I'm doing on, but it's alright it's okay it's okay just bear with me bear with me motel unavailable squat in house sleep in car find wire cutter I mean I I wanna I can't even like try to go in. So it says be discreet. He's in there. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, she's a transformer. Transformers unite. You know what? Maybe there's a back way in. Maybe, just maybe, there's a window open. How far can I go back here? Okay. There's no point going any farther. Just wondering. This game's like, you idiot. You've already gone far enough. But seriously, I haven't been to that drugstore yet. Is there? Never mind. I'm gonna try the drugstore. No. No, 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 no. Excuse me. There's nothing I can even click on. That's a confusing thing. There's nothing I can find. Nothing that I can click on, literally. Yeah, let's let's cut the fence with a can opener. It's a real smart move. I want the wire cutters. For some reason, I don't feel like I'm the only one that's been lost on this part. There's not much to do. These wire cutters are very not easy to find. Liar. Liar. Wow. 
Well, Alice. So what is this one? like? Oh, it must be on the other side of this fence. Oh, I can cut the fence with the wire cutters. Oh, oh, I could have gotten the wire cutters from the gas station. Looks like the abandoned car it is. Because I can't go back in the gas station. I saw there were wire cutters in there. Stay here. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. She's freezing. She's so wet. Close it. You have made your decision. A really bad one. I... I know. I, I felt lost. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. I know for a fact that it Maybe wasn't I did either. Maybe something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Promise it. Promise it. I promise. Comfort her. Will we be together forever? Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Forever. I don't have a good feeling about when I wake up in the morning. If I even sleep. Dang, do you see how many options there are? Shit. Hold up. This is an intense amount of options. When I entered the supermarket, talk to, talk to Android trash collector. I did. It could have, it could have broken out in more ways that way, inside the supermarket. I stole the chocolate bar. I left the toy. And it no longer went here. Notice the cash register, I did nothing. Notice the can stack, I did nothing with it. Clerk spots Kara stealing, I left. If I would have stayed, I could have even still potentially left. But they all result, well, they result in me leaving the supermarket but I'm not sure if me leaving the supermarket with the money, with the $40 motel fee. So, inside parking lot, check motel, all of that shit I missed in the middle. Oh my god, I missed so much. What is this solution right here? That's what I want to know. Alice and Kara stayed in the abandoned car. Because I'm just bad at this game. 
Kara's a basic bitch, though. 3 a.m.? What? What happened? Oh, okay. Wait, am I someone else? Yes. Wait, for some reason I forget... Oh, right. He got taken by the police. He must have got thrown. In the dump. Corrupted Mind Palace. Impaired vision. Corrupted audio data. Oh, shoot. Ethereum pump regulator. All systems in low power mode defective. Left and right leg components. Wow. Just a vague mention, you found the right wire cutters before you needed them. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Crawl. So I wonder if there's an option where I don't get my legs back. <laughs> Incompatible. Push away. It's another android. Analyze. Is that a left leg? Hey, we need that. We need that. We need a left leg, guys. We're gonna put this one on. You know, decorate our body real quick. Plug it in. Okay, we've got the legs. Stand. Now we escape the junkyard. Man, we cannot see. Do this like super fast. Where are you going? I 
wonder if I could have died there. Or, you know, maybe got my arm taken off or something. Oh my goodness. They're everywhere. Replaced the damaged parts. Now we can choose to go right or left. We're gonna go left. Okay, let's look. Oh, I'm looking for an eye. Or eyes. I'm looking for ocular, ocular vision. Oh my gosh. There for a reason. Oh, I need I need Ethereum pump regulator. Oh, it's compatible. Kill. No. Kill. Who cares? I need to live. I'm sorry, that was like killing a human life. But I need to live. Find an optical unit. Let's check. What oh, was that? Nine. Optical unit. Blue iris. Compatible. Pull it out. Pull it out, son. Hello. I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyberlife maintenance center. Hey, I found an eye. Okay, my logic isn't airtight, but I'm trying here. Look, it was impulsive. I didn't want to steal the clothes. And you know why I didn't steal the clothes? Because someone was watching me. Here, no one is watching me. That was the difference. So you want to know? That's why. That's why. I was afraid that he would wake up. I wasn't going to kill him. What is this? Oh, incompatible. Yeah, but she... Guys. I killed her, so she was no longer watching me. And I needed, I needed to see. Audio processor. Oh, okay. I know, I'm terrible, right? Open. Take it. Insert. I need an ear, guys.
find the slope. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing trying to climb it. How do I... I want to climb! Okay, maybe over here. Yep. Let's climb. I'm gonna have to do shit, huh? Gonna have to do a lot of reactive stuff, maybe? Come on. Logic's airtight. I made it. But I couldn't take clothes, Lord. I have taken body parts. Check. Because someone was watching. But I'll rip your ear out if no one's watching. <laughs> I'll rip your ear out and rip your heart out. Rip off. Oh. It slipped. Alright, let's get up. Different irises. Two different irises. He's coming to seek revenge. Are Marcus and Kara going to meet up in Connor? That's what I'm wondering. Like, why am I playing these three characters? Okay. Refuse to kill for the pump. See, it, if it was like refuse to take clothes off of the android, I'd be like, yeah, 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 I refuse. <laughs> Climb the slope. Okay, so that's that's the only outcome. You can only get one one finalized outcome. I think a sharp rock. Let's find Amanda. There she is. Hello, Amanda. Connor. 
good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. Avoid it. Be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Uh, traumatized. It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Hmm. Dysfunctional. I define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. Yeah, I guess what so. What do you think is the best approach? Friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. I've played through several times and I still have no idea what she's for. I don't know, man. <laughs> I thought you might know. I was gonna ask you. Don't cross the line. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Connect. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Find Lieutenant Anderson's desk. He might be in shock. Oh, shit. Fucking machine can kill everyone in the room. Okay. I wasn't sure if I should have done that. What? <laughs> What? Are these all the decisions you can make? Okay. Take a look at these samples yet? Ford says they cut it with something. Okay, no. Thank gosh. I was gonna become like super overwhelmed. These are just names. talk to you ask about the desk I'm looking for lieutenant Anderson's desk yeah it's that desk right there boom did you point 
here. Here it is. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. <laughs> Thanks. All right, just sit and wait, I guess. Explore a new office. A lot of decisions. Call. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Let's Lieutenant leave Anderson, a message. this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Yo, I'm trying to eat a donut. Taking empty samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. I don't feel like listening to that. I have to be careful. Beep. Whatever. Examine his desk. Okay. Okay, fine. We will listen. We will listen. Play. <laughs> that's just, that's neat. Let's analyze this. Eight clues to analyze. Mmm. Give me a donut. 452 calories. Dang. Coffee? Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. Japanese maple. Android slogans. Detroit basketball cap. Matches. Red Ice Task Force. Canine hair, so oh, okay, he has a dog. Research Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. He was a decorated officer. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, Eugene I Krabs. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Um... Enter and listen in. Cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that yeah. last night. Yeah, getting yelled at. This isn't just cyber problem anymore. 
It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. <laughs> Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Oh, huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add um, more pages to your disciplinary I feel record. awkward just Doesn't standing here now. He looks like a fucking nut. <laughs> this conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job right, or you I'm kind of... I'm done. I'm just done with that. <laughs> I don't know if I should have stayed. Look at that. A fucking ghost. <laughs> His clone ends up in the dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Introduce. Hello. My name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Model, are you? Refuse. I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized to answer you. If you have any questions, please contact your superior. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. No, I'm not, I didn't like him. That's why I refused. Get a move on! I didn't like his mannerisms. I gave you an order. I'm sorry. But I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> I ignored that, by the way. When a human gives you an order, you obey. Incorrect. Got it? Please let me make Stay a decision. Stay out of my way. Next time, punch him. Get off so easy. <laughs> punch him. Sassin him. Sassin him. I'm not putting up with that shit. Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Check on Hank. Although police assistant androids have existed. Yeah, let's go see Hank. Wait, what is down here? Oh. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> Come at me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fucking android. Huh. So you gonna look back? I feel like fighting. I feel like fighting. I feel like tussling. Oh man. Progress the case. OBS room. Room zero one. 
No, I'm gonna enter this one because most people would enter the first door, right? I'm gonna enter the second door. Okay, why am I in here? Oh, there's blood. There's android blood all over the table. Okay. Um. There's no reason to be in here. I'm gonna go check on Hank. Oh, he went to the, he went in the bathroom. Look. Look. No, I don't want to exit. Oh. Okay, maybe I do. I... I don't know. I literally just looked at myself. Is he in the OBS room? Probably no one in here. Yeah, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Check on Hank. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't do anything with them. Uh, I should probably go to Hank's desk. There he is. Oh. New Connor. Understanding pragmatic. We're gonna go. We're gonna go pragmatic. Listen, I know you don't like me, but we're going to have to work together. You <coughs> have to make an effort. I don't. Positive. In any case, I'm all about positive. I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. Ah, don't do that. I'm Never sure we'll mind. make a great team. That was a bad decision. Uh. <laughs> Uh, a desk? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Thank you. <laughs> All right, time to sit in my desk and work. Job simulator. Activate. Dog, basketball, music. Oh, because of the basketball hat, I can mention that. I can mention that he has a dog. I can mention about the music that he listens to. Or anti-androids. Hmm. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair is on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Boom, we got him. Um, what's Fowler? Let's talk about music. Do you music. listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's 
full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Of course I started with the dog. He's tense. What is Fowler? Can someone tell me what Fowler means? Let's uh, let's try it. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Oh yeah. Oh, he's the captain. <laughs> That's his last name. <laughs> I got you. Fowler is a person. Um. Let's talk about our uh basketball. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Meh. <laughs> he took him out of the bar. Um. Let's go hours. I was wondering. Do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? All right, all right. I got you. If Let's you just have any start files working. On deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. Ah. Uh, access. I didn't want to ask about that last thing. He seemed pretty annoyed. The plaintiff reports that he left his android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break in. No trace of a break in in the apartment. The android may have left the home without being ordered to. I arrive when I arrive. Okay. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Hmm. <laughs> Aggressive? Perfect. Let's go professional. Cause he I understand. No, wait, I didn't click that. Issues, Lieutenant. But Lavin you need to move the past them. And hey, I didn't click that. Like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? He clicked it for me. Uh I'll chase it up. Ah. No, I didn't click I'm that. I'm file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this um, investigation. <sighs> well, I threatened it. Listen, asshole. I it didn't to me even click that. I a lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are going to get... Uh, sorry to Hard. disturb you. <laughs> I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Dang it. Hank is mad. I God, they're so quick. I mean, they they make you they make you go so quick. My brain doesn't operate at that speed. <laughs> 